Taylor, Phoebe, I'd like you to meet Pat Walker. Hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. You two have no idea why you're here. No, I'm afraid we don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, if Hector brought you, I have a pretty good idea. Truth is, I haven't had visitors in so long. I really don't care why you're here. I just want you to tell them a little about yourself. Mm. Mrs. Walker and I used to do charity work together. She was very generous to the people in my community. I never imagined their tax dollars would put a roof over my head one day. Mrs. Walker is serving a 10-year sentence for vehicular manslaughter. I've only been inside two years. It already feels like a lifetime. Can't tell the look at me now, but I used to be a very respectable person. Loved by my family, admired in my community. I was what you would call a high-functioning drunk. You know, I just needed a little something at the end of the day to help me unwind. At least that's what I told myself. My drinking wasn't a problem. Didn't affect my life. Until one day, my drinking ruined my life. My husband had asked me to get help. Who knows, maybe if I had listened to him, I wouldn't have been on the road that night. I barely remember the accident. I didn't even stop. I mean, I realized what I'd done. I saw the body in the street. And I just kept going. It was late, there was no one around. I was probably in shock. But I thought that if I just pretended that all of this didn't happen, that somehow it was just gonna go away. And it didn't. The police showed up at my house a few days later. I was too drunk to answer the door. It's the only way I could deal with the guilt. The police dragged me out of bed and into a squad car in front of my neighbors, in front of my children. I confessed. My lawyer told me it might lighten my sentence. Of course it didn't. But the truth is, I, I just couldn't hold it anymore. I was relieved to actually tell someone. Relieved because keeping that a secret felt like the most terrible thing that had happened to me in life. And then I landed in here. Ten years sounded like a long time at sentencing, but I had no idea. Being locked up in here is worse than I ever imagined.